Hi, I'm James and welcome to Cordor Stone Gallery. Today I'm going to show you how to clean, care and maintain for your quartz work surfaces. One of the most commonly asked questions we get is how easy is it to keep my work surfaces clean? Short answer, very very easy. Um, on here we have some very lightly marked uh, ring marks from tea and coffee mugs. You've got everyday sort of marking. These were just left overnight. I'm just going to show you how quickly and easy it is just to get these off. With everyday cleaning, the first port of call we always say is just use warm soapy water. So soapy, we just use a mild detergent, just your everyday washing up liquid, uh, nice warm water, and we say only a small part of it, if you do too much of a concentrate, it can end up leaving a little bit of a film. So simple microfiber cloth, nice and wet, and then just a nice liberal application. And that has taken those marks off straight away. Once it's obviously wet, just a quick dry down. Again, microfiber cloth is all you're going to need for this. And that is a clean work surface. Now the reason that's so easy and it was one of the benefits of quartz is that it is a non-porous product. So anything like that you spill on there should basically be sitting on the work surface. So as soon as something's spilled off, we always say get it off sooner rather than later to make the job a lot easier. Now, I have prepared something a little bit more substantial a task to get off, and probably the most commonly asked question is red wine, how easy is that to get off? Well, I've got this piece here that I have left for approximately 10 days. As you can see, it's quite well dried off. Again, we always start, even with the, uh, the more stubborn stains, again, is your nice warm soapy water. So with this, it may take a few goes just to start it off, but as we can see, that is coming off very easy. So just first application, we can see that it's taken the really heavily residue marks off. Right back in on there again. A little bit more elbow grease, and that's taken that next layer off. Now, the reason we always start with the mild detergent is because why, need, why go in on anything heavier when you potentially mark the work, work top? We don't want to do that, so I'm just going to quickly dry that back down and we can see how much that has come off already. Now, with these sort of marks, quite often it may take um, an extra form of a detergent. This particular product is by a company called Technostone, um, and one of the products that they recommend for cleaning the work surfaces is the Sif Active Fizz. A little bit stronger, um, ideal for this sort of scenario. So if I just um, have a quick liberal spray on there, we'll leave that to just uh, work its way in for a little bit. Again, we're gonna use the microfiber cloth. Let's dry that off so we can uh, take that excess off. So first application, and we can see that that's actually coming off a lot more already. Still left the mark on there, but I do expect this being left on there for the period of 10 days to take a little bit more extra work. So let's take that next layer off. Again, another liberal application. We'll leave that on there for a little bit longer, just to work in there a bit more, because it is quite a tough stain and we'll come back and clean off with that. So we've left that on there for two to three minutes. Um, it's, we haven't done anything else to it apart from just let it sit. Again, back with a damp cloth. Just gonna wipe that straight off into the sink. Again, just a little bit, a little bit of damp. And take that back off. And that is a clean work surface. And that is how easy it is to clean the quartz worktop. Now, red wine is one thing, there are other posts and things like turmeric, which can leave marks on there if not cleaned off, and again, a little bit stubborn like that, but they should come off with just a little bit of extra elbow grease. All I've used are everyday household products. Um, when we do an installation, whatever the, uh, the manufacturer of the stone is, we'll leave you a care kit, uh, sorry, a care sheet on the site so you can actually see the recommended products that they actually suggest for use um, with their own work surfaces. However, these are Still fairly mild by comparison, available every day, just a couple of pounds from your local supermarket. They do pretty much every part of the job that you've ever needed to do.